This is Mumbai. It's my city and the city of dreams. But what sets this city apart is the love that people have and the way they feel connected to this coastal city. A city that speaks about business, Bollywood and cricket all in the same sentence. And Mumbaikers always seem to say that Mumbai is the best. Welcome to Nama Bengaluru, the quintessential eight city of Karnataka and one of my favorite places to visit in the country. A bustling city home to 13 million Bangaloreans. And yes, every sentence here ends with the word da. For example, how are you da? You're looking good da. So on and so forth, da. Let me set some context. We are going to complete some crazy challenges to showcase the best that this city has to offer. After completing each challenge, we will post pictures on our respective Instagram handles and whoever gets the most likes at the end of the day obviously wins. So, let's begin. And our trusty companions on this epic journey will be these two Aether 450Xs. The first task sent to us by the writers of Pow Drift was extremely original. We were asked to find the best meal our respective cities have to offer. When you think of a city like Mumbai, you think about food like Vada Pao, but how cliche is that? It is tasty though. But you know what? I think Varun is the king of cliche, so we'll let him do the cliche bit. This is my city. Let me show you Mumbai through my eyes and through my plate. While I reached out to the locals seeking some gastronomic guidance, Cyrus knew exactly what he wanted. I wasted no time and led the camera crew to Cafe Universal. It's my go-to place for this. Dansak. Yee, okay, this is exciting even for me even after eating literally this just a couple of days ago. Now let me explain to you what dhansak actually is. It's a combination of these two. This is caramelized brown rice so it's slightly sweet and this is spicy dal and it has to have meat in it. In this case it's mutton which is the more common meat that people put. There is nothing like a vegetarian dhansak. Let me get that very very clear straight off the bat. Now as celebrated as a dish this is you aren't really supposed to have it on a happy occasion. Isn't it strange? I mean, this is one of my favorite things, but I'm not allowed to have it on my birthday. That said, it is accompanied by some nice big chunky, well, two nice big chunky cutlets on the side. Mutton, obviously. Cue the gratuitous montage of me chowing down on some food. Meanwhile, in Bengaluru, I took the challenge of finding the best meal a little too literally and decided to go find the best South Indian plate meals. And thanks to some local guidance, I reached Hallimane, a place that promises culture, flavor and fragrance. Okay, I'm going to quickly run you through what's on my plate here. We've got two different types of bread. We've got two sabjis here. This one is your plain rice, which I think I'm going to have with either sambar or rasam. This one is veg pulao and this one is curd rice. Pickle, this is called uh, kos kosham beef, if I, if I get that correct. And then you've got your papad. To finish things off, you've got dessert. Now, <clears throat> this right here is payasam, a dish that I really love. Meals is, as a concept is, is very southern in nature, very southern in culture and you'll find them in almost every state as you start going towards the south. My mouth's already watering, I'm also hungry. So let's go. I love the flavors. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna win this challenge as well. 
Our respective tanks full and pictures uploaded, we headed out to the nearest Aether grid charging station to feed our noble steeds. You know, you don't seem to realize it in a city as crowded as this and on an EV, but this sort of start-stop traffic actually does affect both your range and your batteries and motor's performance. Which is why the good folks at Ether have come up with an ingenious solution. You can either use this, the Aether grid, which is all across the city, or the Aether dot for home charging, or you can use the portable charger, which is in the boot right now. And it's literally as easy as plugging it in because look, it's already charging. It's just so simple. They say you will never be more than four kilometers away from an Aether grid charging point. You see, Bangalore has 36 charging stations. Home ground advantage, obviously. But Mumbai, on the other hand, has to catch up. The next task conjured up by the writers was to go to two separate locations given to us with whatever charge was left in the bikes after half an hour of charging them. And my destination was Empire at Church Street. I was asked to make my way to Valkeshwar. After a day of zipping through the city in warp mode, we switched the bikes to eco mode, hoping we don't run out of juice. We reached our respective locations with enough charge to spare. Quickly uploaded the pictures onto Instagram and spent an hour to see who gets the most likes. How about that? You know, this is one of my absolute, absolute favorite places in Mumbai. And it's not because the sea is right next to me here. It's because of that. It's a collection of lights that makes the road look like, well, a queen's necklace. And it's changed today, or it's developed. You have old and new buildings. Mumbai is what they say it is. A maximum city that combines tradition, business and most importantly, dreams. However, it is not all work and no play for its inhabitants. Fun is equally important to Mumbaikas, which is evident from the way they enjoy their food and sightseeing. Bengaluru, on the other hand, is a city which is quite different from Mumbai. Bengaluru is a sweet mix of the traditional and modern. While Bengaluru is perhaps most well known as a tech hub in India, it truly has so much more to offer. Like its gardens, quaint coffee houses, nightlife and architecture. Yes, I knew it. Yes, Bengaluru did win this one by a margin but uh, Mumbai wasn't too far behind. That said, I've had fun, I'm sure Varun has and I'm hoping that you guys watching have had as much fun as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another episode of Talk of the Town. Here's what's in store for you. Who talks about this? Anyways. Shut up. Imagine this is my boss. <laughs> While Harsha is on the east coast, I'm somewhere around the west coast. There's got to be some catch. Food and travel show and then every pagodi girl like this restaurant girl na kaal niyal ne adga lan pinch lede. Na antar ne ne ondu kundan fixe no. So let's go fishing or hunting or whatever you call petal catching.